Hello, how are you doing guys? I'm Pole Position and this is Top 10 Top 10 plugins and applications you can use with Tasker. Number 10. Folder Sync. Folder Sync allows for file synchronization to cloud-based storages. It supports an extensive number of different services starting from Amazon finishing on probably Dropbox or much more. So you can have a look yourself. Application can be used on its own as it has extensive scheduling options or with Tasker to move your files from mobile to cloud or from cloud to your mobile. And of course, nothing should stop you from using these options to synchronize the files between the devices as well. The application is 224 on the Google Play Store and you can download it now. Number 9, Zooper, because nothing shows your love better than displaying the information from the Tasker on screen in a beautiful manner. Scenes in Tasker might be just fine, but there is nothing wrong with having a widget or two on your screen. And for 225, it gets you an access to this application and ability to create custom widgets that will take firewalls from Tasker and use it for your visual pleasures. Number 8. Wake Online. This is a very small plugin and it does only one thing, but it does it very well. It wakes up your supported devices over the network. Yes, you can walk now to your home and have your PC ready for your gaming pleasures instantly as you reach the top of your stairs. So, did I mention it's free? So what are you waiting for? Go to Play Store and download it for yourself. Number 7. Push Bullet aka notification for lazy people. I mean, nothing is wrong with that. This is one of the most comfortable and easy way to display your notifications from mobile devices on your PC. It supports quick replies to uh, messages or to WhatsApp. It comes as a Chrome plugin, so you don't have to have any windows open on your PC. And it is standalone application. However, you can always use it with Tasker. It's also free, so grab it before they're gonna put the price on it. Number 6. Auto Input. And brace yourself because this is not the only auto app on this list. I have not been sponsored by the developer, but his work is just too awesome not to mention. Uh, this app touches the screen for you. It's not a big deal, right? Wrong. It lets you do things you can't usually do with Tasker. If a button needs to be pressed and there is no other action in Tasker available to execute this, Auto Input lets you do this and speed up the way you control your devices. It will, I will come back to the pricing of the Auto Apps a little bit later. Number 5. Auto Voice. As promised, Auto Apps again. This time, use your voice with Tasker, create custom complicated voice actions to execute tasks, also, from your computer screen. Yes, I'm looking at you, Cortana. This is the app to use if you want to say, Hey Jarvis, where is my power armor? Sadly, it's limited to online functionality, but perhaps it will change one day. For offline actions, look at Otter, which would be standalone voice command center with Sasuke integration. No one stops you from having both apps on your device together, just make sure your voice assistants aren't uh, jealous of each other, that's all. Number 4. Headset Button Controller. At 199, this tiny application allows you to control your device using your headphone remote controller. With Android Market counted in million devices, I don't understand why we don't have practical headset controller with a remote control that would actually support more than one button. This application allows you to control your mobile in an excessive way using single button. It has a support for more, obviously, and imagination is your limit. And I would be very lost while cycling without this app. Number 3. Secure settings. Remember that time when I mentioned the permissions? Secure settings takes the blame here. It will ask you for a load of them, so Tasker wouldn't have to. If there is something that isn't supported by Tasker, chances are you can toggle this function uh, through the secure settings. It is free, 
However, to fully enjoy its potential, you would have to be rooted. Number two, auto remote. If you have more than one device, this is a plugin to have. In short, this is a walkie talkie for your Android environment. If you need an information passed from one device to another, or to issue a command that will be executed on another device via internet, Bluetooth, or just local network, auto remote is the guy. Auto remote may not look like much, and you never see it working actually, but it does an amazing stuff in the background to make sure your devices are connected. And with Windows 10, it also makes sure that Cortana is not being left alone. Number one, auto notification. Tasker is a great little thing, but with auto notification plugin, it's even greater. At first, I thought this would be the one of the ways to intercept notification and act upon it. But soon after, I realized how much more you can do using this app. App checks notifications, stores its content and allows tasks to be executed when notifications arrive. It also have a robust way of displaying notifications with interactive menus, which is handy, and overhauls the way you think about task creations. All auto apps are available on a subscription base and it equals to about 81 depends uh, per month. That's all for my top 10 companion apps for Tasker. Do you think I've missed something? Let me know in the comments section below. And as usual, subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time. Bye!